the nucleus is often referred to as the control center of the cell, since this structure ultimately directs the cell's many activities. The nucleus contains the macromolecule vital to all life, deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA. The nucleus is surrounded by a nuclear membrane, which is composed of a double layer of lipids and proteins. The nuclear membrane controls access to the instructions encoded within the DNA. The DNA found in the nucleus contains coded messages called genes that each cell uses to make thousands of different proteins, enabling it to live and to reproduce. The instructions encoded along the DNA are eventually passed on to successive generations of cells as each parent cell divides. When cells begin to divide, the chromatin, containing DNA and protein, condenses and forms rod-shaped bodies called chromosomes. Chromosomes are responsible for carrying the hereditary information from one generation to the next. Within the cell, but exterior to the nucleus, is the cytoplasm. This jelly-like substance provides a viscous environment for all of the intracellular components. Over the last several years, scientists have learned that the cytoplasm is not a simple clear liquid inside the cell, but rather a highly complex solution composed of water, proteins, carbohydrates, and lipids. In fact, the cytoplasm is as distinctive as all the other organelles in the cell. Many chemical reactions critical to normal cell function occur in the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is in motion, moving materials such as nutrients from one part of the cell to another. In large plant cells, this motion, referred to as cytoplasmic streaming, is especially common. Here you see the cytoplasm moving around the cell in the space between the vacuole and the plasma membrane. One of the most important and complex structures of the cell is its outer boundary, known as the cell or plasma membrane. The cell membrane serves two main functions. It protects the internal parts of the cell, and it regulates which substances enter and exit. The cell membrane is selectively permeable, restricting the flow of traffic into and out of the cell to specific molecules. It, in essence, acts as a gatekeeper. The cell membrane consists of phospholipid molecules and proteins. A closer look at a phospholipid molecule reveals that it is composed of a hydrophilic or water-seeking head and a hydrophobic or water-repelling tail. The phospholipid molecules that make up the cell membrane are in constant motion. Proteins that help make up the cell membrane perform several important tasks, including transporting molecules into and out of the cell. Some proteins act as small pumps, actively transporting molecules from one side of the membrane to the other.